Hello, John here with Software for Linux, uh, and I'm here today with Sharuk from Microsoft's developer division. Welcome to Montreal. Merci. Uh, je m'appelle Sharuk Mortezavi. Uh, je suis ravi de faire votre connaissance. And that's all the French I know, unfortunately. Well, that's, that's a very good, uh, that's a very good start. Uh, awesome. Good to have you here. Thank you. So, uh, Microsoft actually has a long history with uh, Python. Um, it was actually shipping in the operating system about 20 years ago in one of the products. Wow. Nobody knows this. There was a commerce <laughs> server that was built around Python. Okay. It shipped with the OS. Therefore, Python was on Windows. Unfortunately, that was the last time it was in <laughs> Windows. And then, of course, we had uh, Iron Python, which is yep. the implementation of Python on .NET, which is now a community-supported project with a bunch of really good people on it. And here we're, um, first of all, to support the effort, you know, the PSF, we're a major sponsor, and we've got a few cool products to show, namely Visual Studio and Azure. Okay. I, I think you were telling me also that uh, you're involved with uh, IPython, or you've contributed? Yes, uh, so we're very uh, closely working with the IPython folks, Fernando and Brian and Min, and uh, actually recently we gave them a $100,000 no-strings-attached donation to do whatever they like, and I think Fernando said a lot of that went towards getting the new IPython interactive uh, uh, D3J uh, support in there for um, you know, the, the knobs and so on that you Excellent. can interact with the code. So, um, IPython is actually available on Azure, which is Microsoft's cloud. So you can imagine using your MacBook Air, using <laughs> Chrome, <laughs> with IPython, talking to a Linux VM on Azure. Never touching <laughs> Windows if you don't want to. But if you want to, it's also available. Excellent. Um, so whether any OS, any browser, um, you can talk to a local IPython engine or running it on a cloud. Are there any projects on the horizon or sort of uh, you know, new directions uh, with, with Microsoft? Definitely. Uh, like the build conference at Microsoft was actually last week in San Francisco, and a whole number of projects were announced as uh, open source um, ready. Uh, Rosling being the new C Sharp compiler and large parts of .NET framework are all open source now, available on GitHub and CodePlex. And uh, it, it's a new era for Microsoft, you know. Everything that can be open source and should be open source is probably going to be following that uh, mantra. Wow. And our project, Python Tools for Visual Studio, which is the integration of Python, any Python, hmm. C Python, Jython, PyPy, um, anything in Visual Studio, it's all open source and Apache. Wow. Coming back to, to Python, I guess, is hmm. there, are there particular Python projects that you guys have open sourced at this point? Um, you mean Python project written in Python at Microsoft? Yes. No, we're actually, uh, Python usage inside Microsoft is picking up, Okay. but there's nothing that is under active development for uh, open source release. Ours is probably the biggest one. Like for example, the debugger is entirely written in uh, Python mm. to be cross-platform, and one of the features that that gives us is um, we have a lot of people that use Python tools for Visual Studio on Windows, in Visual Studio, mm -hmm. obviously, because it's a highly productive development environment, but they actually deploy to Linux servers. Okay. And they want to use all the goodness of the debugger on Linux as well, in the production environment. Mm. So now you can put a breakpoint on your code that's running on Linux, exception happens, whatever, it breaks in Visual Studio, downloads all the code, you can right click on your breakpoint and put complicated expressions, you know, when hit, hit count, thread ID, machine name, and get all types of information. And not just uh, cross OS debugging from Visual Studio to Linux and Mac OS, we can now do cross language uh, debugging. You know, Python, uh, God bless it, is a little slow in some cases. <laughs> so you can That's do, a myth. <laughs> yeah, you can do profiling inside Visual Studio, find your slow parts, and write them in C++. But now that you've got the C extension, how do you debug it? With PTVS, uh, Python Tools for Visual Studio, you can put a breakpoint on your C code mm. and your Python code inside VS, hit F5, and it'll do a nice stepping between the two environments, and you get a mixed mode stack, which is the, the only ID on the planet, as far as I know, that can do this now. That's, that's very <coughs> interesting stuff. It sounds like there's some innovative stuff happening uh, in Microsoft's developer division, open source related things. Yeah, the only key message is 
we love Python. We will try and help the community and donate resources and funds as much as we can. Um, and the key message to leave you guys with is that Python is now a first class citizen of Azure, which is Microsoft's cloud, and Visual Studio. So in the new Microsoft, essentially is you go up to Azure, pick an OS, any OS, could be Windows, could be one of the six Linuxes, and pick a language, could be Python, Java, C Sharp, Ruby, whatever you want. Mm. Download the SDK, use your Mac, write a you know, web service or website, never having touched Windows. Or if you're already on Windows, fantastic. Full integration in Visual Studio available to you. All right, well that's great stuff. It was a pleasure talking with you. Thank and, you, uh, appreciate thanks it. Thanks very much. All right.